and today's video is going to be a different kind of makeup video. I feel like I've not done anything that's even like kind of remotely like a tutorial in a long, long time, but I got really inspired the other day on Instagram. I follow Vegas Nay, and I'm sure if you're into makeup, you know all about her on Instagram. She is like an extremely popular makeup artist, and she posts work from all different kinds of other makeup artists all over the world. And recently there's this craze that's been going on in the makeup community on Instagram. I've seen it reposted so many times and I want to try it for myself because I'm so obsessed with highlighting and contouring. So it's work by two makeup artists on Instagram and they're the ones who came up with this. So it's Bella Bella Delune, I hope I'm saying this right, and then Makeup by Aloe. And they were doing like contour and highlight routines just for fun that were based off of like clowns and ventriloquist dolls and sugar skulls. And I'm just like, oh my God. But when they blend it all out, it looks like regular highlighting, color correcting and contouring. So that's what we're gonna be trying today. So this is not an original idea at all, but I thought I would just try it for myself. So I'm hoping you guys will enjoy it, this makeup video. And like they said, and like I'm gonna say, like this isn't like a realistic everyday tutorial or anything. It's just kind of to do something for fun, mix it up a little bit. So uh, let's get started. I've got a billion different contouring and highlighting products that I'm going to be using today. They're all going to be cream highlighting and contour kits. Here is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've got the three different ones from NYX. I've got some Tarte products like to do sculpting and I have a bunch of nude sticks. I think these are gonna be perfect for this because they are highlighting and color correcting and all kinds of stuff, but they're actually like in a marker format. I have no art skills. Let's just get started and see what we come up with. So I'm gonna try and do this as like a, a, a chit chat kind of thing, just to walk you guys through all the stuff that I'm using. So first off, I'm going to prep my skin with the MAC Fix Plus Primer in the new lavender scent. It smells so sophisticated. So I'm just gonna go a little overboard with that. <laughs> I wish I could share this smell. It really does not smell lavender to me at all. It smells like a study full of like old men smoking like tobacco pipes or something. I don't know. It just smells so sophisticated, like books maybe. I don't know. It reminds me of a lot of things, but lavender is not one of them, but I love this stuff. And then I'm going to be moisturizing and kind of protecting my skin with my Murad acne clearing solution. I definitely use this at least once a day, every day to help keep them face demons at bay. Just lightly rubbing that in all over my face. Now I'm gonna pull up my hair because it's wild and it's too fluffy for me to deal with. Ooh, do you see my armpits? Look at that. Just for reference, I do have a picture pulled up on my phone of a sugar skull. I think it's always good just to have like a reference picture of some sort whenever I'm doing anything that's like, this is not even special effectsy. But you know, like if I'm trying to do something with purpose. Also, have you guys heard about this like strobing craze? Like strobing is supposed to be replacing highlighting and contouring. Does that just freak anybody else out? Like I just don't like new things. I just want the old stuff. And I feel like I'm finally just kind of maybe mastering highlighting and contouring. So I'm like, don't give me nothing new. I don't need to deal with that. So the very first thing I'm gonna be doing is patting on some of this OCC cream concealer, and this is in shade RO, and I'm obsessed with this stuff. I think it's really great and brightening for my under eye area. So I'm gonna be kind of patting this on all around my eye. You know, if you were gonna draw a skull on your face, it would probably help if I had a mirror right now. I'm just looking at myself like in the viewfinder. You guys can see I look like reverse raccoon. And now to just help kind of like accentuate like the sugar skull look, I'm going to uh, line this thing I've just done here with the Nude Sticks Light 
2 concealer pencil. And I also kind of think that it helps to just make my highlighting, contouring, concealing, whatever you want to call it, look a little bit more natural if I do like different gradient shades, you know what I mean? And these colors are almost so similar that you kind of, can you see that there's a difference happening there right now? Probably snot. I'm gonna go through and just kind of do some more of the light work. I saw a Sugar Skull online that I really liked that had a heart on the top. So that's what I'm gonna do in the middle of my forehead is just give myself a nice highlighted heart shape. And for that, I'm using just nude sticks in the shade light. It's like a combo pencil. There's like light and dark. It's like highlight and uh, medium, not dark, I'm sorry. This looks like the worst heart I've ever drawn in my life. It's like suddenly, I can't do anything. Look, it's like off center too. What was I thinking? Um, I'm gonna go through and just kind of perfect this shape as much as I can. Since I'm going for a more like skeleton look, I'm going to give myself some like exposed skeleton looking teeth. So for that, I'm just gonna be going like this all around my mouth and giving myself little spooky skeleton teeth. It's like, I just can't wait for Halloween. I gotta get started early. I even have an app on my phone that's like a Halloween countdown and we are only 121 days away people so now I'm going to add just a little bit more highlight to my chin area and for that I'm gonna draw a nice little sugar skull spider web. That does not look like a spider web. What even does that look like? I don't know. I'm gonna pause on the highlighting. I can't promise that I'm not gonna bring it back. I very well might, um, but I'm gonna go in and do some green work now because I feel like my skin has just been unhappy lately. I have had some face demons crop up and just like sometimes my cheeks get really red. I don't know how you prefer to say this, but I always say it Roesha, Roesha. I never know the proper way to say it. I do have some redness here and a little redness there. So I'm going to do a nice like little almost like filigree design around my eye contouring and kind of try and conceal some of that redness. And I'm kind of thinking it's, it's gonna look a little misplaced now, but when we blend it all out, hopefully it's gonna work. First thing I'm using right here is my Sigma cream color brush, which is E58. And I'm using the NYX color corrector. It's not really like a quad because there are six things in here, but it's got all of your different colored concealers for a range of different things. It's got yellow and salmon and uh, purple. We're gonna get into those in just a minute. There we go. I'm gonna leave this gap right here because um, I'm going to put in some cream blush in a minute. Is anybody else bothered by like lack of symmetry in things? Sometimes it just drives me crazier than I already am. All right, I'm gonna try and cover up this nasty face demon right there. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and pause and input that nice cream blush color. And I always love for my blush to be kind of extreme. I want it to be like really nice and bright under the rest of my makeup. So for that, I am going to be using the Besame Cream Rouge Blush in the shade Crimson. So it definitely looks bright red. Let's just get into that. I'm just gonna be patting that on with my phalange, ironically, right next to where I was just covering up red. I'm gonna blend this upward into the apples of my cheeks. This product smells really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some nice little vine shapes. I'm gonna get into a little bit of contouring now, and for that I'm going to be using Tarte's The Sculptor. I always like to bring some contouring around here for my forehead, so I'm gonna be trying to do like a nice like sugar skull vine and leaf design. We'll see how well that goes. So I'm gonna do like some nice little swirls. This is 
beautiful. I'm just gonna go out like this. The best thing about makeup is, is even if you do something that's really ridiculous looking, all it takes is soap and water. And I always say, if you're like yours truly, and unfortunately you deal with anxiety and stuff like that, makeup lately has been such a wonderful escape and a stress reliever. And it's just been so much fun to try so many new different kinds of looks lately. So uh, that's why I decided now would be a perfect time to try and do this because I've just been having so much fun like doing random makeup stuff anyway. Now I'm going to take some of this salmon color corrector and my concealer brush from Sigma which is F75 and I'm going to just be putting this under my eyes and salmon actually really helps to conceal dark circles. I think that works better for people with really pale skin. So um, if you have a similar skin tone to me, then salmon can be quite helpful in masking under eye bags and just kind of brightening your under eye area. So I'm just going through, I don't think you can see this too much on camera. And then for the middle of the heart, we're gonna go back to this giant heart on my forehead now. And I'm going to fill that in with this purple concealer with my soft focus shader. This is not a concealer brush at all. This is E52 from Sigma, but I misuse and repurpose my brushes all the time, depending on what I'm trying to do and what's clean and what's not. But uh, purple concealer is actually very brightening and I'm trying to just really brighten and highlight this forehead area I have going on. It somehow looks better filled in. I don't know what's up with that. Let's go back and do some more contouring. And I'm gonna go back in first off with my sculptor pencil from Tarte. And I always love to contour because I can do these like really weird faces that I love to make. Vogue. Somebody call them. I'm just going to go ahead and make those really weird faces now and just kind of start carving out my cheekbone area. I always put the most harshest line of contour first and then I'm gonna go back in with some of my Anastasia contour kit and kind of soften up some of these really dark points of contour because I don't want it to look so drastic and unnatural, says the girl contouring and highlighting her face like a sugar skull. Oh, I just realized what's wrong. I've been using a shade two of the sculptor the whole time and my shade is shade one so I've just been doing stuff that's just not right so before I put any more of this really harsh color I'm gonna go in and start working with my Anastasia cream contour kit I love this stuff and a trick that I learned from fellow youtuber Manny MUA on here is to actually from time to time put one drop of like Tarte's maracuja oil on these cream contour shades that you want to use because it really just kind of helps to make these cream contours more creamier. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one drop and a little bit of this maracuja oil goes a long way. So I'm just being careful to really just drop like one drop into each of these colors I think I'm going to be using. Can you paint with all the colors of the contour? Somebody, oh, what am I doing? I thought you wanted to see that really interesting corner in my room. You like it? What I'm gonna do, since I discovered I went through and severely contoured my face with the wrong color of contour, is I'm going to be taking this shade in the Anastasia palette, which I believe is just called Cream, and I'm going to be kind of just tracing over these same shapes and areas that we just made. So now I'm going to get a little bit back into the nasal contouring, and I'm actually going in with shade one of the sculptor this time. I'm gonna be doing kind of like a reverse skeleton nose. You know, like if you normally do a skeleton nose, it's like a right side up triangle, but today I'm going to be doing kind of an upside down triangle, and no comments about the Illuminati, please. I like triangles, they're, they're pretty, they're nice shapes. And uh, then I'm going to be just defining this area. This is getting really messy now. Uh, defining this area really quick alongside both bridges of my nose. Now it sounds like I have two noses or something really weird like that. Now I'm going to be going back through with the nude sticks 
highlight contour pencil and I'm going to be drawing a nice strip of bright light contour all over my nose just basically filling in this whole top part of my nose with highlight so I get really bright defined look there and then I'm going to be going through and I'm going to be adding a little bit more kind of cobwebby looking stuff to my forehead just to kind of try and help me blend out and balance this really dark contour that I mistakenly did on my head. I'm really not that great at drawing cobwebs, okay? You learn something new about yourself every day. Then also to kind of try and make this contour pop a little bit, I'm going to be adding a little highlight right under this super dark contour that I did. There we go. Now I'm going to be sculpting my jawline just a little bit like under my chin and for that I'm going to be taking this cream shade again actually probably like a mix of this cream shade and this lighter shade I'm just mixing it all together you can't even see what I'm pointing at uh, I'm going to be doing this and just kind of tracing my jawline here I guess that's what you could call that I'm going to go through and add a little bit more green contour right under here to my chin area because I am noticing I've got like clusters of redness or face demons maybe kind of just rearing their angry heads so I'm gonna do a triangle again with the triangles going through and adding just a little bit more highlight right there and then I'm gonna be just trying to first color correct right here and then add a little bit more brightness I love brightness so I'm gonna be doing a couple little green dots down here and then a couple little purple dots so uh, this is what it looks like if we stop here unfortunately my camera decided to just totally stop filming when I just rimmed my around the eye area in the brightening purple concealer, but I just went around in a literal circle. This is such a good look. I think I should just stop here and go out for a night on the town looking just like this. Even if this doesn't work from here on out, it was just a lot of fun to kind of paint on my face. And uh, now comes the most fun of all. I feel like it's almost like we've been baking something Thing, and now we're gonna like you know you, it's it's like a surprise soup what do they call those like potluck dinners where you just throw a bunch of stuff in a pot and you don't know if you're gonna get something that tastes good or something that really tastes nasty uh, so now I'm going to try and blend all of this stuff out with my favorites like beauty makeup sponges which are beauty blenders and I'm going to be using this nice big pink original beauty blender and I'm also going to be going through and using their little micro mini beauty blender which is so cute. Let's go ahead and blend this out and see what we get or actually you're watching me blend this out right now so what are we seeing? What are we getting? Is this a mess? I'm filming the voiceover before I'm actually rubbing this all in my face so I have no idea what's going on right now. Trying to blend that all around my eyes. I don't know if you guys have any tips that you can share with me down below, but I don't care what brand, what type of concealer I use on my eyelids or around my eyes, it's always separating. It doesn't matter what kind of primers I use, what kinds of anything I use, it's always separating. It's driving me crazy. I just think I have to be not doing something right. There we go. I cannot believe it. I feel like we got everything blended out. I feel like I can at least like run out of the house right now so I'm not any later for dinner. I'm just gonna set it with powder and I'm gonna go out of the house looking like this. Is that okay? I feel like my eye area is like really bright and in my head it looks good. Maybe you guys are looking at me and being like, what did you do to your face? I'm just going to set all of this with my big nice Sigma fan brush and my Besame, Besame um, Violet Brightening Powder. So I'm just going through really quick and with a very light hand because I don't want to accidentally like uncover any of that green or purple or the other wild and crazy colors that I've just applied to my face. 
There we go. I don't feel like this looks like my regular makeup and I don't feel like it's 100% natural, but it did blend out a lot better than I ever imagined that it could. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Once again, it's just for fun. It's not practical at all. I was just so inspired by what I saw. I absolutely adore the makeup community on Instagram. I feel like everyone is always posting such neat and inspiring photos. It makes me want to run to my makeup drawer and test it out for myself. So once again, this was not my original idea. So all the credit goes to Bella DeLune and Makeup by Aloe. I'm not sure if they have YouTube channels or not, but those are their Instagram handles. So I just want to put it out there. This is not my own creative thinking. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and for hanging out with me today. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!